Here's how to do the reverse tomahawk serve. This serve is really unique, it's effective. I highly suggest watching this tutorial as not many people do this serve, so it's a great serve to learn. It will surprise your opponent. You can get some really good spin, unique spin that goes in the opposite way that your opponent won't be used to. So definitely wait until the end. I'll split this serve up into multiple steps as per usual. Let's get straight into it. Step one for the reverse tomahawk serve is your positioning at the table. For this serve, unlike other serves where you're horizontal to the table, you wanna be in line with the table. You wanna face your opponent. You can really choose what side you wanna be in, but it depends really on your dominant shot afterwards. So if I'm dominant on my forehand, I probably wanna serve on my backhand side. That way I'm leaving space on my forehand and I can hit with the forehand for the third shot and dominate the rally. If I'm dominant on my backhand, I go to the forehand side, do the serve, and then I'm prepared to hit on my backhand. But for me personally, I'm stronger on my forehand, so I'd complete this serve on the backhand side. You wanna keep your feet shoulder width apart, face your opponent, and bend down low to the table. You wanna face your opponent due to the fact that you're gonna hitting the ball on its side. So you really need to face where you want the ball to go. This being said, you don't wanna give away where you're putting the ball. So you don't wanna face entirely the direction that you're gonna place the ball. So if I was going diagonally, I don't wanna stand like this, I wanna stand like this, and then angle your bat, depending on where you wanna place the ball. Okay, step two is the grip. While you're holding the racket, completing the serve, it's your regular playing grip. So the shake hands grip, you got your thumb on the side, thumb on the other side, and then the rest of your fingers holding the handle. This is a great grip, it's strong, it's stable, and you'll be able to put a lot of spin on the ball. Another advantage of having this grip is you'll have your playing grip straight away. You won't have to change grips quickly after serving to get in the right position with your hand. You'll already be ready so you can complete the serve and immediately be ready for a return. You also can use the shake hands grip because it's just not necessary to have the pinch grip for this kind of serve. You're kind of hacking down on the ball like throwing an ax, so you really want to be strong in the wrist and have the shake hand grip. Step three is the contact on the ball. This is the most important. So it's in the name. You're moving your bat like you're throwing a tomahawk. It's not like your normal tomahawk, so it's the reverse tomahawk. You're using the backhand side. So you're in the position, step a bit far away from the table, bending down, you wanna throw the ball up, and while you're doing that, you're bringing your arm back. You're bending your arm at the elbow. You don't wanna move your whole arm, just bending your arm at the elbow. You kind of want to follow the ball down. So you throw it up and you want to follow the ball down whilst bending your knees. Then at the last minute, you're moving your bat in a motion like throwing a tomahawk axe. And then you want to slice on the side of the ball. You can vary what spin you want to put on the ball, but usually you'll be putting on side spin and under spin at the same time. So you throw it up, bring your bat back, follow the ball down, and then slicing motion underneath the ball to create the side spin backspin. Here's a little bonus tip as well. So you have the normal tomahawk serve and the reverse. So you can pull out the tomahawk a few times in a game and then maybe once during a game, you can pull out the reverse. They look very similar in the lead up to the serve. So you can definitely confuse your opponent there. Going towards the tomahawk and then the last minute, you cut back under the ball and put on the opposite spin and surprise your opponent. Now you want to keep a relaxed grip, you don't want to be too firm and too rigid. You want it to be a smooth motion and you want to hit low to the table as always so the ball bounces low over the net. Now you can really choose what spin you want on the ball depending on where you hit it. So you can put on underspin, cutting underneath the ball on the bottom. You can put on straight side spin, cutting on the side, although that will be harder. I suggest doing in between both. So you want to hit the lower side but still on the side but not straight on the bottom. So it's kind of diagonal to the ball. That way you get a really nice side spin under spin that goes across the table like that. Once you get better at this serve, you can really focus on getting a nice motion of the wrist. So I see a lot of players doing this straight kind of jabbing motion. You kind of want to relax your wrist and curve around the ball. So it's a nice smooth motion. That way you can get the most spin and it's not going to bounce high. So throw it up. Wait for the ball to drop low whilst bending down, following the ball, and then you want to kind of spin around the ball using your wrist. It's difficult at first, and I'm definitely not that great at it, but after a lot of practice, 
you'd definitely be able to pull it off. Step four of this serve is your placement. So you can really choose anywhere in the table to hit the ball because of your position. So you've got both diagonals open to place the ball. It really depends on what you want your opponent to do. So if you're strong on the forehand, maybe serve to that backhand so they're likely to push diagonal and you'll be ready to loop. For me, I'm normally gonna serve diagonal as it's just an easier placement due to this serve and it's a way of putting on spin on this side of the ball. You can still serve down this diagonal. It's just a lot harder to get an effective spin and go straight. Some key things to remember is to keep the ball low. Make sure you're serving low to the table to keep it low and try and aim for the ball to bounce short so they can push it and they don't have an opportunity to loop it. Okay guys, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial on the reverse tomahawk serve. It's a really fun serve to pull out during a game. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. We're trying to hit 100,000 subscribers as soon as possible. I'm posting more tutorials regularly. If you have an idea, comment below. If you wanna watch another tutorial, it's on the unreturnable table tennis serve. Check it out, click right here. If not, I'll see you guys in the next one.